In this video, we'll look at how to add the DX Chart widget from the Chart.js library onto a web page. I've already created a simple web page and added a reference to the JavaScript file where I'm planning to set configuration options for the DX Chart widget. Now I'm going to reference the Chart.js, Globalize, and jQuery libraries it depends on. I'll use the NuGet way to download the required libraries into my sample. For this, select Library Package Manager from the Tools menu and then Package Manager Console in the Invoked menu. Type Install Package Chart.js in the console. As you can see, NuGet retrieves the Chart.js library from the specified package source and installs it in the project. Since Chart.js is dependent on Globalize and jQuery packages, NuGet installs them as well. Like any widget from the Chart.js library, the DX Chart widget can be added using the jQuery or Knockout approach. Here I'm using the jQuery approach and adding the DX Chart widget using the DX Chart plugin. First, we need to set a data source for the chart. I've prepared an array of objects representing points to be displayed. Let's assign it to the chart's data source configuration option. Now let's define a series. I set the argument data source field as a field that provides arguments for the series, and the value field as a field that provides values for the series. And that's it. Let's see how the chart looks with the specified data. As you can see, the line series type is used by default. We can easily change the series type to bar by specifying the series type option. And let's see the result. Let's add more series. To write less code, I'll locate common series settings in one place and I'll set individual series settings within the series objects. As you can see, series is an array of series objects now. Let's change the common series type to stacked bar. In addition, let's make bar labels visible and connect the labels to the corresponding bars using connectors. And let's see the result again. Assume our data can be divided into two categories, for instance, men and women. In this instance, we can group bars into two stacks. Now we have two stacks of stacked bars per each argument. Since there are a lot of labels, it's better to hide them and enable tooltips. Finally, let's add a new series that will represent summary values of all the series to our chart. For this purpose, let's set the full stacked bar series type for our bar series and set the line type for the summary series. The full stacked bar series is displayed with a percentage value axis, and this axis is not appropriate for the summary line series. So let's define two value axes and assign them to the series. And that's it. Let's look at the result.
The DX Chart widget comes with a lot of other series types, simple, stacked, and full stacked areas and lines, splines, range bars and areas, and finance. Choose ones that are the most appropriate for your tasks. In addition, when publishing a project on the server, you may wish to use a link to the Chart.js library from the Content Delivery Network. Let's copy this link from our documentation to see how it works. To learn about the series, ways of customizing them, and other chart elements, refer to the documentation located at devexpress.com. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.